Immigration and Customs Enforcement revealing some new details about the brutal stabbing death that happened back in July. Seven suspects are in custody, six of them tagged as gang members. Uh, Garrett Tenney's live for us in Washington with more on this. Hi, Garrett. Well, Heather, we are learning more about these suspects who are facing first-degree murder charges for a brutal knife attack on a rival gang member. According to ICE, six of the seven individuals in custody are in the country illegally. Five are from El Salvador and one is from Mexico. Those six have been identified as, a, as members of MS-13 in a federal gang database. Police say in late July, the group targeted a 21-year-old man, a member of a rival gang, and brutally stabbed him to death outside of his apartment in Towson, Maryland, just north of Baltimore. ICE has issued immigration detainers for the six suspects who are in the country illegally, and federal agents will now decide whether to take them into federal custody and deport them or allow them to go through the U.S. criminal justice system for their alleged crimes. All seven could face life sentences if they are convicted. President Trump, of course, has repeatedly singled out MS-13 for its brutality and sought to yeah, use that group as justification for a number of his actions to crack down on immigration, Heather. Yeah, so the border wall funding obviously will be one of the big battles as Congress returns to work this week. What do we expect on that front? Yeah, you're absolutely right, and that is because Congress is facing a September 30th deadline to pass spending bills and to avoid another government shutdown. The battle over immigration and the president's border wall is expected to be a key sticking point in those negotiations. President Trump will once again try to get Congress to fully fund his signature campaign promise, and Democrats are reportedly preparing to once again block that from happening. They have a bit of fresh motivation as well after the administration announced plans last week to build 175 miles of barriers along the border using more than $3 billion from the Pentagon's budget. On Sunday, in a Twitter video, President Trump defended that decision and his progress on the wall. We're taking money from all over because, as you know, the Democrats don't want us to build the wall. They're fighting us at every step. But our military has stepped up and they've done a fantastic job. Congress is also poised to hold another vote on a resolution of disapproval to override President Trump's national emergency declaration. You'll remember Congress voted to do that earlier this year, but did not have enough votes to override the president's veto then. This next vote could come as soon as the middle of this month. Heather right. and Bill. Garrett Tenney, live for us.